What would I do without you? Tenemos a Olaf, who came to Miami, doesn't matter how hot this city is. That's right. How's everything, Josh? Everything is great. It's so good to be back home. I grew up here, so it's great to be home. Yes, you were born in Hollywood, in Hollywood. right? Yeah. I'm going with you. Anna, no. Excuse me, I climbed the North Mountain, survived a frozen heart, and saved you from my ex-boyfriend, so, you know, I'm coming. It's amazing to see what uh, this kind of story can do for kids and generations. How, how do you feel to be part of this movie? Well, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a gift that keeps on giving. You, you know, my, my own kids, uh, I have two little girls. For them to see such incredibly iconic uh, characters as Anna and Elsa, who represent so many values that I, I want uh, to be instilled in them, and to also share that special bond that is sisters, uh, th that makes it that much more personal. Uh, and I love the fact that they get to experience this uh, in such close proximity because I'm a part of it. <laughs> uh, that was two strong women, two yeah. strong stories, uh, who <clears throat> didn't need to be saved by anybody else. Isn't that nice, the first yeah. change? Yeah, they, it's, it's, it's all about, you know, subverting our expectations with what is a fairy tale love story. Uh, so many times the trope is, is that the man comes in and saves the day, or true love is defined by um, a man falling in love with a woman and kissing her and saving her. Uh, Frozen broke down those simple barriers, but you know it, it did it in a way that that I think made kids sit up and just be like, "Oh right, love can be self-love. Love can be the love between siblings," and I think that's why it connected in the way that it did. And I think. You know, songs like Let It Go, which became such a part of the cultural zeitgeist. It became anthemic for so many people for so many different reasons. Now, Into the Unknown and some of the songs in Frozen 2, I think offer the same opportunity for a different set of reasons. Okay, Josh, um, with all those dreams that you had, and all the things that you're doing in your life, life uh, were bigger than your dreams, what you're living, what you have done, beyond my wildest dreams. You know, I, I imagined growing up that I would be very satisfied and very happy doing small theater uh, in Florida or, or elsewhere <clears throat> to be able to have my work seen by um, millions of people, to, to have a character or characters as iconic as Olaf and, and to share that with the world is, uh, it's, it's such a privilege. It's a pleasure. I get it. Quick question. Is the whole putting us in mortal danger going to be a regular thing? <laughs> <laughs>